Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and if we don't see each other uh, until Easter, I hope you do have a good Easter, thinking of you over the next few days, of course. Now, I want to get to some of the rain. St. Kitts and Nevis, we actually had a little bit of hail. That's some ice that mixed in because the uh, storms got so tall. It's cold up there, and that allowed a little bit of ice to fall. That was in St. Kitts and Nevis. If you're in Anguilla, we woke up to some thunderstorms in some spots. I've been watching things overnight for you. Here's the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, the Atlantic right here, Trinidad and Tobago, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, uh, Guadalupe, Martinique, uh, as you get toward Barbados, Cuba, my friends in Jamaica, Belize, we have been too dry. Let me show you what's happening now. I want to zoom down and show you some of that rain because everything stayed on track with the forecast. That rain continues to come down in spots. So here's Anguilla. It's let up a little bit. You get toward St. Bart's there, Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts and uh, uh, Nevis there. So watching some of the scattered showers that have been around, I've been monitoring during that. And again, the focus will be British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, back through the Dominican Republic and on the edge of Haiti over the next few days for some of that rain that is going to be with us. So scattered showers around. And we've had a couple even as far south as St. Lucia. Keep me posted in the comments. So I've been watching some of that rain that has been around. Generally, it hasn't been too heavy. So we've been getting a few just kind of a, a millimeters of rain every now and then. But we're going to see some spots that could still get upwards of 75 to 100 millimeters of uh, rain. Let me take a look at the uh, winds right now. And what we're seeing, more of that southeasterly flow. The winds kind of curl a little bit because we have this somewhat developing storm system. So generally winds pulling in out of the uh, east now, but a little bit of a curl to some of the winds. Let me broaden them out because I'm thinking of our captains and mariners just to give you a feel. Winds kind of curl around a little bit here. So we're seeing kind of a bump coming back down out of the northeast toward Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. So I'll keep an eye on that. But we have some big areas of rain the next few days. So I want to focus in on that and take you through Easter. I also want to take a look at the possibility of some rare April tropical development. I'll talk about that in a second, but first thing is first, the heavier rain later today. I mentioned uh, on the edge of Anguilla, and I talked about yesterday how a lot of us would be on the edge of it, but spotty showers watching those elsewhere too, not as much Belize. So again, there is a focus here in the Eastern Caribbean. I do try to track where the worst weather is. I do this channel for safety, but Puerto Rico, British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands on the edge of St. Bart, St. Martin, watching some of the rain. And you see here, this can continues through today into tonight. And this is tomorrow. By the time we hit about three in the afternoon, mid-afternoon on Good Friday, there's still rain coming down and it starts to pick up in the Dominican Republic. Haiti, we're going to be on the edge of some of the rain. Elsewhere, not as much. Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the ABC Islands, northern Venezuela, passing shower. Guyana and Suriname, I have my eye on you. It's actually been too dry lately. That pattern is going to generally hold the next uh, couple week. So I'll keep an eye on that. But look at the rain. Let me move forward now. Saturday, and then I'm going to expand out the view and take a look at the uh, Bahamas as well. But still some rain around. A lot of it tries to pull to the north, but still an elevated chance of rain. And look at Haiti and the Dominican Republic. That rain chance still around, if not even more so, as we get into Saturday. And then elsewhere, spotty showers. Dominica, we could get a quick little uh, passing shower or two. Barbados, St. Lucia, same thing. Guyana and Suriname, keep it an eye on some of the dry weather that we're still going to have. So this takes us through Saturday. Saturday, kind of on that smaller picture. I wanted to break it down where the rain is. Bigger picture. Here's Belize. My friends in Jamaica. Jamaica, the rain chance will pick up a little bit. Not as much, of course, as that blob we're seeing right there. So this is today. Let me take you through it. And again, all of this could get tied, will get tied into a front in the United States. I've been watching that. Look at the rain here building up here. So you have two areas. This is later tomorrow. There's that rain that I showed you uh, for tomorrow and then back into the United States. And watch what happens. Again, you see the rain here. Western Caribbean, Honduras, uh, not a lot. Mexico, wildfires still ongoing in spots in the Yucatan. Cuba, same thing, not as much. This is Saturday now. The rain starts to build. Turks and Caicos, rain chance goes up. Southern Bahamas, rain chance goes up. Watching the rain in the southeast United States. Scattered showers moving into Florida. Okay, so this is Sunday now. This is as we get into Easter. Spotty showers possible. Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and again, Eastern Caribbean, very dry Western Caribbean, Jamaica, Cuba, Cayman Islands could get a hit or miss shower. But Sunday into Monday, look what happens. And let me stop it here. This is what I'm 
watching as we get into the weekend and next week. Now, as we go forward next week, you get an old front here. We had a lot of moisture again, like we have right now, Puerto Rico, St. Kitts and Nevis, we've been seeing some of the rain. That lifts to the north, so we've got a lot of rain here. That's all I need to know about that. And then the old front, there's still some rain here. Bahamas, Florida, Gulf of Mexico. There are some signs that something could try to spin up either in the Gulf or on the Atlantic side. Now by spin up, I watch my words carefully because I, I want to just give you the accurate information. I'm not seeing anything blowing up at anything crazy this time of year. That would be uh, incredible in the bad sense of the term. But occasionally you do get tropical development in the month of April. So I'm just going to be simply put watching these spots to see if anything does try to develop. And while I was going to kind of stand down on Easter uh, to uh, celebrate, I will jump in and do a video if need be on Easter. So be sure to share this uh, channel because if anything spins up, I will let you know. But you can see here a lot of rain. So it has my attention as a meteorologist that this time of year, occasionally things do spin up. Now, as far as the flooding goes, Fortunately, some of the rain will come and then stop and then come again in some locations. That should allow some help to some relief to some of the uh, streams and rivers, but we're still going to see flooding in parts of Puerto Rico, so isolated areas of flooding. Now, this is a three-day rain total, and you see the kind of key at the top of your screen. So the blue is up to about 25 millimeters. That's an inch of rain. Doesn't mean we're going to get that. That's up to that. That means, example, uh, Curacao, Bonaire, passing shower possible may get 10 millimeters of rain. But as you get up here near the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, on the edge of Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis, the brighter colors, and some of us are gonna get over 100 millimeters of rain four inches of rain. That would lead to some very isolated flooding. Kite flying, Trinidad and Tobago looking good as a whole as we get into the weekend. A passing shower will be possible. Passing shower Barbados. Now let me zoom down closer. So uh, here's the Dominican Republic. You get back through Puerto Rico and then into the Virgin Islands, back through Anguilla, and you see the brighter colors. There's the key. Now this is a computer model, so it will change some in time. It just gives us a feel, gives me a feel of what we could get. And you see in Puerto Rico, a mix of kind of the uh, purple and pink shading to the white shading. So we could see anywhere from 50 millimeters of rain up to 100 millimeters of rain. That's two to four inches of rain. So we could get some good downpours in spots. Same thing. Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, even close to St. Kitts and Nevis where we already had some rain in the Dominican Republic, watching out for some isolated flooding. If you're in the Dominican Republic, please keep me posted. Please share this channel. Let me know what's going on where you are, and we'll see how much of this gets into Haiti. Haiti, again, rain chance will be a little bit elevated as we go over the next few days ahead. So I got you covered as far as that is concerned. Dominican Republic today, rain chance, again, a good 80 to 90 percent, and you see how it stays elevated. It goes down some, but over Overall, the rain chance is going to stay up. Doesn't mean we're going to get rain all day, but at times we'll see that chance of some of the uh, passing showers and even some thunderstorms mixed in. Uh, Puerto Rico, the next three days, rain chance high today, 70% chance, even higher uh, in some spots and staying kind of uh, with the scattered showers and storms, especially tonight into tomorrow and then just a little gradual drop off, but it's going to stay active, watching out for isolated flooding. St. Kitts and Nevis, again, the best rain chance going on uh, that we, we had some rain already this morning. Best rain chances today. Then it does drop off to about a 30% chance tomorrow into Saturday. So still, still some passing showers, but not nearly as much as today. Trinidad and Tobago, rain chance about 20% as we head into uh, Easter, mainly on the dry side. And I want to get back to Jamaica. The rain chance bumps up. Most of it stays away, okay, the, the big bulk of the action. But as we get closer to that front, remember that front I showed you from the United States dropping into the Gulf, getting closer to Cuba, that'll enhance the chance of rain. So as we get into the weekend, the rain chance about 50%. Again, not a washout, not an all-day thing, but just a better chance of getting some of those showers around. So keep it an eye on Jamaica. Same thing over toward the Cayman Islands, Belize, uh, Honduras, not a lot down through uh, Guatemala and El Salvador. So areas of rain, areas of flooding staying unsettled into next week. I showed you why. Again, that front dropping in. So I'm going to keep an eye on any signs of tropical development. I'll be watching the Gulf, the Bahamas, Bermuda for that. And more information on El Nino. That on Earth QC. I did a video on that yesterday. Check that out on how it's uh, the weather. El Nino is tied to the hurricane season. 
and our health and the spread of disease. So I'll put a link to that in the, uh, in the comments and in the uh, description as well. So I'll keep you posted on everything. Again, I will jump in if I'm seeing anything, getting super active. Uh, but thinking of you as we get into the weekend and closer to Easter, I hope you have a wonderful day.